Good morning, everyone. Good to see you. Paul Tranny here. Hello. How is everyone doing? Hopefully you're doing great. And uh, welcome everyone, wherever you may be. Let me know how audio is. I actually swapped out. I have a new mic, which is like right up here. Um, I don't know if it's called, I think it's shotgun mic. I don't know. But uh, anyways, just making sure I'm coming in loud and clear since I am using a new microphone. And uh, if I need to turn it up a little bit, that I can easily do. Hopefully you can hear music in the background, because today's all about music. Hey, Sean, you did catch it. Look, do you even lift, bro? Haha, <laughs> it's just a silly shirt. Anyways, hi from India, Shakir, Shakar, good to have you here. Uh, Cindy, David, uh, of course, Sam's awesome. Sean, Susan, my friends, of course, Michelle. Uh, Christine, Frank, I see you, I see you guys out there, I see you world. Um, so yo, oh, audio is excellent, well that's good to hear, it's kind of out of the way, so it actually gives me like more room to move around, especially since we're going to be using brushes today, I might use the Wacom, uh, either way you will be able to use whatever you want, uh, mouse, touch pad, whatever the case may be. So let's switch over, if you're joining me elsewhere. I just want to say hello to you as well. So, a low with uh, a bit low with a little static and no music. I could just turn that up a touch, not too loud, and I can make sure I speak clearly. Because with a mic up here and you're leaning over, this happens all the time with artists. They lean away from the mic and you can no longer hear them. So, uh, I will make sure I'm speaking nice and clear for you guys. All right. <laughs> Aloha on this spring Thursday. So well said, right? It's feeling like spring, everyone. It's so exciting. Uh, I, I'm excited to be on Behance.net forward slash channel forward slash Photoshop. We're day eight down here. Musical brushes. It's just a fun way to say, hey, you know what? We're going to create some brushes, uh, music related, and uh, paint with them. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So click get started. You'll go ahead and grab this file right here, which I already have open in Photoshop, as you can see. <laughs> Hi, Muriel, have Fazal and Emily as well. <laughs> Emily, do you guys like my shirt? I'm, I'm loving my shirt. Ah. Anyways, I'll stop. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so here's the situation. We have this lovely image. It's actually pretty cool. It has some grain to it. Uh, we can go ahead and address that. But uh, she's looking at this. Uh, she's in a record store, obviously, looking at her Elvis record. We want to have music as if it's like coming out from that album, right? Uh, so, that is the idea. Rick H. Hello, Rick. Good to have you here as well. All right, so, guess what I did? I went ahead and made notes. Where the heck did these come from? I probably did too much work for you. I don't know. But again, got rid of the busy work. Essentially, what I did is I went out and I grabbed some shapes. Because right in here, um, I'm having a situation with all of my uh, shapes. Shape suit, ship, shapes, shape situation, shape situation. There we go. Right in here. Look, this is where these came from. I actually just grabbed these, dropped them on, right, and there. That's there's that eighth note. Let's change the color and uh, pretend like it's actually there. What is happening? I think uh, I don't know, but nonetheless, that's where they came from. Drop them on. There it is. Looking around. Oh. Look at this, I'm so glad this happened because we talked about shapes yesterday. Look at this, I'm like, where did it go? Guess what? It's gonna keep your last settings. Yesterday I was doing everything with a white stroke and no fill. Well, I need to change that too. Come on, why is this? I've been having problems with, with photo. Oh, I gotta hit enter first. Now we can change it, there we go. I was about to blame my user error on Photoshop. Shame on me. Uh, but just check the properties. You're like, hey, I can't see anything. Maybe turn off other layers, but nonetheless, that's how this is essentially done, right? Kind of shrunk that into place like that, bring it over here, and now we have these uh, notes. <laughs> Shape subation. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, hello, hello, Caroline. Awesome. Awesome. So, yes. Um, I don't know a whole, I'm not, I'm not a Jason Levine, like, I don't know what all these actual notes are. I have to drag them out here in order to realize that this is an eighth note, 
uh, eighth notes, I guess, two eighth notes is what this one is. So uh, <clears throat> my music education is limited. I, pl I didn't even play, I played a coronet, which is a short uh, trumpet as a kid. And that was it. It was beat up, probably fourth hand, not even second hand. It was like fourth or fifth hand. I was like fifth string. I had to bring in my own chair from home just to be the fifth chair in a, in a school with, with only four other coronets. <laughs> with only three other coronets, I was fifth. No. <laughs> All right, so there we got it. We got it. We got it. We can see that eighth note. By the way, we can also tell right over here. So hopefully you have this set up. Because right in here, I talked about this on the very first day, you want to make sure you go down to panel options and you want to make sure you're showing the layer bounds so I can easily see that these, which notes these are, because I have it set to layer bounds. Otherwise, it's going to show the whole document and you're not going to be able to see that little thing in the corner. And of course, we can always make this a little larger for everyone. There we are. Okay, so let's move on. You guys, I don't know if you guys made brushes before, but again, this is a daily creative challenge. I'm just, I'm thankful you guys are here, right? So let's just take one of these. Let's take this one that I had, right? I don't know why I gave you all the notes. You guys could have just as easily done this. Let's go over here. Let's grab it. So we'll select it. We'll put it on white. We'll be cognizant of the size, by the way, um, because this is the size the brush is going to be when we capture it, so... Uh, you played the tambourine, no notes. Marsha, oh, I love it. Let's start a band with everybody that was like fifth string. The, the person that had the gong or did a cymbal or the triangle. Let's all get together and start a band. Okay. All right, so right down here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Edit. Uh, define brush preset. And now we can go ahead and give it a brush name. We, in this case, can call it eighth note or just call it note number one, right? And then it goes ahead, goes ahead and puts it in our brushes panel. Your brushes panel will look different than mine. I got all sorts of craziness in here. Let me just get rid of these groups. And you can see it is right down here. In fact, let's do this. Let's organize this a little better, hopefully. Come on, Paul, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Come on, buddy, you could do it. You could do it, okay. Stretching this out, creating a new folder called Notes. There we go. So that's where all these new ones will go. Since it's so low on the screen, you know what, I'm gonna bring it up. There we are. Here it is, Notes. Brush settings. We need a cool, let's make a cool t-shirt for our, our cool like fifth string band. Or fifth chair, I don't even know what it's called. Is it fifth chair? I don't even know. Where's Jason when you need him? All right, so right in here, there's note one. We could see what's happening if we go into uh, the uh, brush settings. Okay, so with that, that note selected, I can see how crazy it is right down here. See, so this is running all those notes together. Imagine if you were playing that. Oh, you played music with a water bottle. Have you ever put away the dishes and like take two spoons? You'd be like, bah, 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 bah. Anyway, uh, we can take this, we can change the size, right? That's what's happening there. I just like to go to about 80 ish. But the spacing is what we need to check out. We need to go ahead and space that out. Spacing adjusted accordingly, right? So that's what I want when I start painting. I want to paint, and we'll do this again, just with a color, a lovely magenta. And then I can start painting. Let's size this down, and you can see what's happening so far. Da da da, there we go. Okay, let's change this some more. We changed the spacing. We can increase the size. Let's go into size jitter. We wanna jitter this about 100%. So now as I paint, look at how different these sizes are. This is, again, working a lot better. So what I can do at this point is have some fun uh, with this. Ooh, you're actually a drummer in a hard rock band for a minute. Oh, man, I think I would be a drummer. You know, I would, I would wanna be a lead singer and then a drummer. 
and then also the guitarist. But I think the drummers have the most fun. Like, they crush it, so good job, buddy. Uh, so right in here, we can start adding these notes to this scene, just kind of swirling them around nice and easy. The reason this is so smooth is because I have something called smoothing turned on, cranked up to 50. So I get these lovely smooth lines. What's gonna make this more interesting is if we go ahead and separate her from the background. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, the newer, oh, doing the water and the glasses thing. Awesome. Celine, I see you out there uh, from Turkey. Awesome. So glad you're here. Glad everyone is here. So we'll take this layer. We'll duplicate it just by command J to jump. Uh, my favorite feature, I guys show you this to you guys all the time. Remove background. I love the easy button. Click right there. What does it do? Goes through and it removes the background. Let's see it one more time with that background turned off. So remove background, no hands. Bam. It does what we need to. We can always clean that up. But the cool thing is we have that background. Now we can play with sort of the depth of this. So I can take these notes, put this behind her, and now it travels kind of behind her head. And we can play with this all we want. Typically what I would do is I would add a new layer of notes in front, in front, and then just click da 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 and have it go down from right there. So we get this lovely flowy effect with these notes, right? And we're just beginning, right? Okay. Hello, Tim from Northern Michigan. Tim, we're gonna start a band. We just decided. All right, so I'm going to grab actually my Wacom <clears throat> pen and um, do the same thing, but this time maybe I'll take the smoothing down some since I have more control and I can do something like, let's just try this, let's just try this. Let's do E, L, V, I, S. Yeah, no. But again, you guys get the idea. E, L. Let's have it more flowy. E, L, V, I, S. There we go. And have that flow back down. You guys get the idea. Okay, cool. I'm just playing around now. Is that okay? Playing around with these magical brushes. I think this is working out best, but let's up at a level, right? We're gonna up our game. Is it, Celine, are you ready for this? Hello, Ra. Ra Parker, hello. Ra, I don't think we've met, and I just wanna say hello. And uh, hopefully you're doing this well, doing well on this fine Thursday. So this is what I have. I can actually take this, and I can save this as a new brush preset. And this is like uh, notes, brush, uh, spaced out, I don't know what you wanna call it. I would say notes. Uh, uh, linear, because it's all in one line. So that's actually what I would call it. It's going to capture the preset. That's, that's this stuff. It's going to capture that in here. So that's what I need to do. Click OK. And now I have that, the original note, and then my linear notes. And then we could take this to another level, because what we want to do is we want to take this. Um, we could change the uh, scattering. So let's go into the scattering. And see if I can pull. There we go, Paul. Do your thing. Really focus on this. Because we want to see this little thumbnail at the bottom. So scatter, sure enough, is going to scatter this about. It'll scatter. Again, it's actually scattering on both axes. Scattering on both axes, it means it's going to scatter not only vertically, but horizontally, right? So you can see they start to overlap, which I'm not a huge fan of that. I want them to, I want them to scatter uh, vertically, right? Um, for some of these, we can actually control the count as well. So if I want to do that, I can do it based on pen pressure. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, right down here, I, would, I could change the count, and that can be based on uh, the pen pressure. So any one of these sliders or properties can be controlled um, using pen pressure, tilt, or stylus wheel, and all that fun stuff. 
I would probably want, uh, I think, the size to be controlled by pen pressure. So that's what I'm doing now. And honestly, you're just going to have to play with this stuff, right? It's OK. Come in here, click. Oh, let's actually use my pen. And you can obviously see the scattering. You know what would be even better is if, uh, let's change this to pen pressure. There we go, you see what it did? Pen pressure is gonna control the scattering. Although I'm not seeing it that much, maybe I need to go really light. But anyway, space it out some more. Let's add to the count. And let's just pretend like, there we go. We have a little bit more chaos when it comes to those notes. All right, cool. So uh, all I was going to do is lay down something like this and then change the blend mode. So see what it does? It pushes it kind of to the back, right? So it's like you have maybe a background like bass going, like a bass line or something or drums. And then you have the singer's voice sort of in the front, more melodic, right? So that's kind of what I'm attempting to do in here. So uh, control those brushes and let's actually create some more. So we could do this really fast now because I gave you this and I gave you all this. So now we could jump in and say, hey, you know what? Let's grab a, I don't know what this is, but this looks cool. Let's grab one of these. Grab it. Go in here. Divine brush, note number two, to use a technical term. Let's go into shape, uh, excuse me, brush tip shape for this one. And let's make sure I have it selected. Let's bring this out now, hold on. Sorry, this, is, this often happens when I deal with brushes end up with multiple panels because you have your brushes panel and then you also have your uh, brush settings. So here we are, brush tip shape, right? I was just playing with the shape. Let's take the spacing out, right? We spaced it out. Everything I just taught you, right? We can go with the size jitter. We crank all that up. Um, and again, we can play with the angle if we want to for this one. Uh, let's work on the scattering like we did a second ago. And now we can scatter that like so. And typically what I like to do is save this new brush preset as note number two, scatter. Okay. Cool. Cool. And we could add color to this. By the way, did you notice how I turned on the background? Have, have background as white uh, when you create these brushes. All right. That one looks good. Notes in the front. Let's change the color to uh, this lovely yellow. She's reading, or excuse me, she's listening to this Elvis record. We're going to select that yellow. Great color scheme, too, by the way. Hit B for brush, right? And then we can go ahead and click. And then here's our additional notes. Let's so adjust the size. Maybe we'll just do a couple. I think we don't need as many. But again, I'm just adding some accents to this and uh, kind of doing a layered effect. Okay, so that's the idea. We have more music coming out. What's gonna make this look even better, just to be honest with you, from a design standpoint, I'm gonna make this background a smart object. I'm gonna go to filter. I'm gonna go to blur gallery. I'm gonna do a tilt shift, right? Because the thing is, is I need to really separate the foreground from the background, right? See how those notes are actually standing out even more, right? Just by adjusting that blur and I can see those notes better. Right, I still, I get it, I need to match the grain, there's some other issues with it, but that makes it a little bit easier to see those notes if I blur out that background some more and I do that with tilt shift, right? Oh, thanks Gus, Gus, Gusbot's here, the one and only Gusbot, right? We can add some more to this if we wanna give this more depth. Uh, keep in mind when you're painting, this is just like any other object. So this is our uh, notes in two scatter that I was painting with that are yellow, right? Get as specific as you want. Uh, you might want to add a little bit of depth to those, and that's what I'm going to do now is jump in here, add a layer style. Um, and I really have not talked a lot about layer styles uh, for uh, my daily creative challenge, um, but uh, that's why we're talking about it now, I guess. We'll do an inner bevel, 
And we're gonna make sure that this is chiseled hard and we will not make it soft and we will adjust the depth. It's really you just eyeing it, trying to add like a little bit of depth to it. In fact, I'd probably take down, I kinda just want, a hi I want highlights of these um, notes. See what I'm doing there? Just giving it a little, just like a little bit of pop, like a little bit of dimension, because again, it's coming out, it's supposed to be like kind of 3D, right? Click OK, and now we have that sort of dimension. OK. All right. Oh, Mariaf. Oh, thank you for joining me, even though you're busy at work. I really appreciate you. Um, yeah, we can tell you how to save those. Um, another thing, you can do a thousand things now. It's so much fun. What I've discovered is as you make all these notes, right, you're going to want to maybe apply the same setting. So I'll grab this thing, whatever it is. I think it's an ampersand, but that's just because I'm a graphic designer, not a, a music guy. <laughs> Ask Jason tomorrow <laughs> to find brush preset. <laughs> I have no idea what this stuff is. Note three. I'm so sorry. I had one job. I could have just Googled it before I went live, and I apologize that I did not. Shame on me. I, I feel... I feel dumb now, dang it. It's okay. You know, play to your strengths, that's what I have to say. Again, we're doing the same thing, so keep in mind. You know, as I adjust out the spacing, right, what am I doing each time as I'm doing the same thing? I'm adjusting the size, I'm doing a scatter, right? I'm doing the same thing, right? And uh, I can work on color dynamics, let's do that as well. Let's do color dynamics as well for this, and then I'll show you what I was really what I was gonna get into. Let's change this to this teal. So it's gonna bounce from teal to yellow. Teal uh, to yellow. Foreground, background color. We have color dynamics. Uh, foreground, background, jitter. And this again will take some time to get into. What am I doing wrong? There it is. Apply per tip. There we go. So now it's gonna jitter between that foreground and background, right? So as I click, see how it's bouncing between those different colors. So I can decide, hey, maybe this is better than those notes that I did a second ago, blah, blah, blah. You're like, hey, Paul, that's pretty cool, but I wanna use those other notes with these same settings, right? So I wanna, I'm like, hey, that's cool. I wanna do that same effect, but use a different note. Well, that's what these little lock buttons are for. Lock it down, lock it down, lock it down. Now all these settings are gonna stay the same, so I can go in and I can switch brushes. That's right. Switch to my original notes, for instance, because I'm like, yeah, I wanna use those original notes instead. And then it's, you can see it's changing color. See, do you guys get that? Changing color. Might be a little hard to see, I could turn off that background. And actually what I would do with this, since I played with this depth, and these ones are getting blurrier, I should have those get blurrier the further back they are. Convert this to a smart object is gonna protect it. And then we could do the same thing, go into blur gallery, do a tilt shift, right? S stretch this down by grabbing the line. And now we could have the notes kind of blur out, like as if they're going back into this record store, okay? Uh, based, you know, by, you know, basically blurring out those brushes and you get the idea. That adds a really nice look. I like it. So, sorry if I've been ignoring chat. Uh, ooh, thank you. I looked over at Kelly's like, hey, can you emboss them just to kind of give them some dimension? Oh, thank you. Because that's, we're like, I like it when us designers are on the same, uh, same page. That works out so well. So uh, with that depth, I would probably do that some more. Again, smart object. Let's see if I could just hold down option, drag blur gallery up to that one, right? And we can blur those out as well. And we get this lovely depth for our beautiful image. So that is the challenge for today. What is she thinking? She's probably like, is my hair okay? Because you're doing a photo shoot and is my hair all right? That's what I would be thinking. I was like, how's my hair? Pretty much 90% of the time, if you ask me what I'm thinking, I'm thinking, how's my hair? <laughs> or she's thinking, yeah, I need to repair my overall. Hey man, you know it's cool. You can't have them both up. That's a whole different look. It's like the backpack thing, one strap or two straps. It's a whole thing. 
<laughs> but Nora, I like you guys. Love, I love hanging out with you guys. That is done. I'm going to go ahead and do an export for web. Checking on any. Thank you, Afroja. You're so nice. All right. So we'll go over here. And I typically crank this down because I give you some big files to play with. But just crank them down because you don't need them that, quite that big. Uh, and have fun with this. Have fun playing with the colors, right? Because that's another thing you could do is uh, play with the colors, which is, again, probably what I would do is add a, a black and white. And now she's in her own world looking at this record. And uh, that's kind of cool. In fact, we can go something like that. There we go. Entirely different look. Do what you want. Have fun. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you just upload it to Discord and... Uh, that's that's about it. Appreciate you guys. Stay safe out there, right? Drink lots of water because, you know, it's going to be summer before we know it. So thanks so much, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. See ya.